guys, should you say welcome back to another Gears of War 4 video and I'm just so excited and hyped to be bringing you guys this Gears 4 unboxing video. As you can see in front of me right now, on the table, I just can't, I just can't, I just can't, I can't even believe it, I just don't know what to say. But as you can see, it's the Gears of War 4 Xbox One S Limited Edition Console Bundle. So I have to give a big shout out to Xbox UK and of course Microsoft as well for sending this Gears of War 4 console out to me. I really, really do appreciate all of the crazy support from those guys, especially when it comes to the Gears of War games. And of course, I have to thank you guys as well. I'm just truly humbled to be in this sort of position. I would have never thought anything would ever happen just from literally uploading Gears of War videos and just loving the franchise to a point where you could call it an addiction, I could probably say. But without further ado, let's jump straight into the unboxing of this amazing looking console. So start, starting off straight away, we have the Xbox One controller. I'm not going to be opening this for now because that's not really too special. It's all about the Gears of War 4 Xbox One bundle, of course. So if we take a better look at... The, the box because like always with the controllers with everything else the the box is as good as the product itself because it's really uh, it's so uh, it's so smooth but we got the aesthetic physically pleasing cover art JD Kate Dell we got their Xbox one console as well limited edition two terabyte I'm still on the day one Xbox one original console at 500 gigs so this is definitely going to be an upgrade and then you've also got the full box artwork with again JD, Kate, Dell, Gears of War 4, it's happening. I can't believe the time is finally here. I don't think there's anything on the side, no, you just get a little bit more view of the console itself, but we've got it right here. We don't need to look at the box, we can just open it. Oh, here we go. Come on, sellotape. The sellotape's pretty, pretty hard, pretty hardcore. There you go, all right, here we go. I need to make sure that I open this Oh wow, look at the box though. Look at the box though, it's like Gears of War themed inside. Hopefully, we're getting that on the, the camera. We should be, as you can see, this is what you look, you see as you literally open it up. We'll quickly take this, I don't know what this is. Let me make sure there's no goodies inside. Okay, oh, it's, just, it's just an instruction manual. I like it though, it's a lot more better than the, the previous boring manuals. This is actually Gears of War design, that's pretty cool. Then we've got, okay, we've got a load of, oh wait, let me let me make sure that I do this properly. Okay, that's the console. We've got a little box right here. What's in here? I think this is the, the power brick. Is this the power, yeah, that's the power brick. And you've also got the HDMI. No, no, this is the controller. What I like, really, really like about this as well, literally the whole inside is just themed Gears of War 4. So if we get that out of the way, and we move this a little bit backwards, so, the camera doesn't want to focus on it. It probably will though, because obviously it looks that good. But this is the controller. So I've already done an unboxing of the Crimson Omen controller. I did get it separately, but this is the one included with the Xbox One S bundle. And again, exactly the same as the controller sold separately, but I think everybody does appreciate that. When you get the console, you also get a themed controller with it as well. As you can see, you got the swarm of scratches right there again. The JD Phoenix symbol on the back. Oh, we've actually got a few more scratches here. Is that on the previous controller? I'm gonna have to go check after this video. I don't actually remember if you can see that. I don't remember these little scratches here, but you definitely the the front and the back is pretty much identical, as you can see. And then just resting there is just batteries, obviously. All right, so the controller's out of the way. That's literally the starter meal, that's a taster. It's all about the console and it is heavy. Not as heavy as the original Xbox One. Okay, I can see in the box as well. I wanna see if I can show you. I'm not too sure if it's gonna pick up, but inside, it probably, okay, it might pick up. Inside is literally just absolutely themed and decked out with the Gears Crimson Omen in there. That's just like one of those aesthetically pleasing little things. It's always about the little things that count. Okay, we're taking these foamy sponges off. I can't believe how small the Xbox One S console is. Like, I, I didn't get the white one because I knew this was getting announced. Okay, we got some goodies in there. Oh, I'm loving the Gears of War 4 themed, just everything, you know. It just makes everything so much better. So as you can see, this is what you also get included. You've got the copy of Gears of War 4 Ultimate Edition. Let's quickly open this up because I know you get some exclusives 
in here as well. What's this? Oh, okay, this is the actual, this is the Xbox One S stand. Okay, let me quickly have a look at these goodies off screen, obviously. I need the codes. Right, so we've got Xbox One instruction manual. We've got a leaflet about the other Xbox One controllers. You've got the standard Elite. It should have included the Gears 4 Elite, really. And you've also got the JD Phoenix Xbox One controller, which is sold separately as well. I did an unboxing video of that. And then, obviously, the main thing is the copy of Gears of War 4 Ultimate Edition and if I can remember off the top of my head you also do get some exclusive DLC which includes Vintage Oscar and some other things. I think it's like Vintage Drop Shot, Vintage Boom Shot, something like that and a few other weapon skins here and there but you do get some console bundle exclusives with your copy of Gears of War 4 Ultimate Edition included. So let's quickly get all of this cardboard out of the way Obviously being Gears themed, we need to keep that in mint condition. We're just going to get everything off the table quickly, just so we can pretty much focus on the Xbox One itself. We'll leave the, the stand thing up here. I've never actually held or touched or felt an Xbox One S controller, so this is the first time for pretty much everything right now. Hopefully, okay, let's quickly move it back a bit. There you go. Right, that should be perfect, right? Okay, here we go. First time opening. Got a set of tape everywhere. Come on. Oh, it's ripping. Let me use a knife just to make it a little bit easier for me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I want, I want to see it, I want to see it. Okay, it's ripping off. Whoa, this is literally super sticky. And it should be one on the other side as well. At least you don't want to drop it. That would be the worst thing ever. Okay, the set of tapes here. We can put it on its side maybe. We should be good. Come on, sellotape. You know you want to come off. Here we go, here we go. Ooh. Oh, I can see it. Okay, you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, I think this is the back. Oh, look at that. Here we go. So this is the Phoenix Omen symbol everywhere all over Gears of War 4. So this is the back of the console and this is the front. Oh, wow, dude. I don't know if you can see, okay, you can actually, I don't know, that's a bit weird. I'm colorblind, that's really weird. So yes, yeah, so I'm colorblind, I can't actually really see the Crimson Omen in real life, but on the camera it's picking up nicely. But this is the Gears of War 4 Limited Edition Xbox One S. It's a little bit heavier than I expected, but it's a lot more light and a lot more smaller than the original Xbox One console I've got. As you can see, look at the deep scratches. Oh, oh, wow, no way. They're actually really deep. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Like, the detail is absolutely insane. Now, it wraps over to the disk drive as well. We'll take that sticker off. Do not worry, okay, we can just take it off right now. Oh, this is one of the most satisfying things ever. Yeah, buddy. Put that on the floor, we'll deal with it later. But you can see the, the swarm of scratches indented into the console itself. Like they are so... Oh, I can't believe how... That's so crazy to me, really. So this is the Xbox One S console. This is the first time I'm actually holding one as well. It's so like... It feels like a really, really compact version. But there you go. That is what the... Xbox One S looks like. So there you have it, that is the Gears of War 4 Xbox One S console limited edition and bundle unboxing video. So I was going to include showing the custom sounds for this Gears 4 console because there are a few Gears of War 4 themed sounds. When you turn it on, turn it off and also use the disc tray but there's a slight little issue, there's a slight little problem. So me living in the UK and obviously this Xbox not out yet and it being sent over from the US, it included the American US power supply. So we can't even turn this thing on to let you guys listen to the sounds. There was an official video released some time ago. Hopefully I can find the video and you can listen to the sounds right now. But again, just before we go, we'll quickly have a quick overview once again of what the Xbox One Gears of War 4 bundle includes. So you've got the Crimson Omen controller right there. My battery's about to die, so I need to be a little bit quicker. We've got the Gears of War 4 copy of Ultimate Edition, which includes the exclusive DLC. 
We've got the awesome looking box as always. And obviously the main thing right here is the Xbox One S Gears of War 4 themed console with the swarm scratch marks. You've also got the Crimson Omen on the back there. I'm actually, I've put it in its Xbox One S stand that it comes with. So this is how I'm going to have it set up in my room when I finally get a new wire to use it. And you've also got the Phoenix Omen symbol on the back there. And you probably won't notice, but it's really small. It's actually writing here, and this says Xbox One. This says model, what model is this? One, six, eight or nine, seven. And it also says, hello from Seattle. So I'm not too sure if that would focus or not, but there you go. That is the Gears of War 4 Xbox One console unboxing. Give a video a thumbs up and share it. If you enjoyed it, subscribe if you aren't already. That Gears of War 4 hype, man, it's so damn close. Seeing things like this, you know... It's only a few days away. Thanks for watching, and as always, I shall see you on the next one.